All right, YouTube, we're back to Terraria. Uh, what the hell? I don't know. A new update came out today. Um, it fixed some stuff with multiplayer, I guess. It changed how the skeletons and a couple other enemies looked. Um, it added two secret NPCs. I have no clue what those are about, so that would be cool to find out. Anyway, let's show you what I've been skipping. I have the grappling hook now. You, I finally found a, uh, a hook from the skeletons. I guess it's a rare drop. I don't know. And you don't do that. You do this, and bam. I also have the rocket boots from Rob, who, if you've watched my other videos, you know who he is. You basically, you... I guess double jump, but since I have the cloud, it's triple jump for me, and it takes mana, and you basically you fly around like Iron Man, see that rocket boots. I took off the banda regeneration, because it's kind of useless compared to all these, and I really like the, like, uh, losing the shiny red balloon is noticeable, so I was thinking maybe, actually, I'll take cloud and a bottle off. Yeah, so it's double jump, so... I guess that pretty much makes shiny red balloon and uh, the other one useless, huh? Um, cloud in a bottle. Um, I went the wrong way. I'm going to show you what else we've been doing down here. Oh! I also have the nightmare pickaxe now. I don't know if I did that last video. That's made with uh, demonite ore from like the boss monsters. And then Shadow Scales, which the Eater World has dropped. Now, even if I got my ass kicked, the parts that broke off of him, like his body parts, they still break, or they still make, um, like, they can still drop the armor, which I had enough for. So, um, so that's how I got it. And with that, I mined Obsidian. You know, the stuff that when water touches lava. And with that, you can make the Obsidian Skull. Give some defense, and more importantly... You could stand on fire. I mean, you still get hurt if you stand in lava, but... Um, like when we were mining the meteorite, I couldn't touch it before. Now I can. So those would be easier to mine now instead of throwing dynamite and running and then jumping in and getting hurt. You could also stand on Hellstone, which is way down here in Hell. But I think the game calls it the Underworld. But I mean, it's Hell. It's all fiery and everything. So I'm going to call it Hell. Here, uh, this orb of light is awesome. I'm, I'm keeping the flippers on, though. Those are such a big help. Head down. I'm only showing you this part just so you guys can appreciate how far deep this cave is. Okay, then you take a big breath of air and then go down this water thing. Ah, this way. Anyway, uh, once you have obsidian like this, it's really easy to mine. Since when you mine it, you know, the water is just taking the other, it is just, uh, filling up, it up again, so the lava won't hurt you. That lava will hurt you, though. Where is it? Is it over here? I'm guessing it is. All right, here's hell with the uh, the veiny, fiery stuff in the background. Ah, that poor slime. This is a big drop right here. So I don't know if this is true for any hell thing or maybe it's just for me. But there's a big drop. Oh God, don't hurt me. Okay, so you better have the grappling hook or something. Woo. Okay, this is hellstone where this guy is. Ooh, I'm so glad I didn't fall into the lava. Um, normally if you stand on that or the, the hellstone brick, which is what these buildings are made out of, you would get hurt. But since I have the, um, uh, the obsidian skull, I'm not hurt anymore. I gotta kill these before I do anything. What? They teleport through the lava? So you can't knock them in. Uh, or maybe that's just bad timing. Though you can't... Uh, like swing at their fireballs and defend against it uh, and their fireball attacks can also fly through like buildings and stuff 
Anyway, so let's mine some. Actually, let's fight this. This is a bone serpent. This is, it's kind of like the worm, like the devourer, but it's like a bone dragon looking thing. Also a ton of health. They're kind of like mini bosses, I guess. Let's try mining some, uh, no! Ooh! You don't want to fall in the lava. Let's try mining some hellstone. God, that is so annoying. I'm not 100% sure what you could do with Hellstone. I'm, I'm assuming it's just it's stronger than meteorite stuff. I mean, if it's way down here underground, it has to be strong. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to survive right now, not let the, this guy kill me and then take a couple swings when he's up. These rocket boots are such a help. Um, Rob got them from a goblin army. Uh, I think I said that already. If not, then that comes when, like, it's a random event, and I think it has something to do with destroying a shadow orb. So, we can play around with that. Ooh! Ooh! Hoo, hoo, hoo. God, this is annoying. Damn it! I, I, I just want to kill one. And it sucks that there's two of them, because, like, this would be easier if it was just one. See, it's like you can't dodge one and then, like, I mean, like, you could dodge one, but then the other one just hits you. Really a bitch. Uh, yes. I don't know what these guys drop, if anything. Oh, and this purple stuff is ash. I don't think you could do anything with it. It's just like, you know, sand or dirt, but like in hell. At least I'm assuming that. I mean, maybe you can't do something with it. Who knows? There's another one. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna try moving around, stay alive. Um, this is a hell forge, and you could do stuff later on with it. Like, this is how you make hellstone bars. Like, you have to be down here. Uh, I really couldn't tell what that needed to be made, but it looked like you need hellstone ore and uh. No, 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 no! Oh, I tried using my grappling hook to get out. Um. Uh, well, that sucks. Um. Basically, for what it looked like, you, you use the hellstone bars to, and obsidian. Yeah, that that had to have been it to make uh, the hellstone bars or the hellstone ore. I should say is what you need to make these. I don't know if I could do anything with just six of them. I doubt it. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything. So we can head back down there later on and try it. Uh, this video is basically giving you guys an update on everything that's going on. Um, we're towards the end of Terraria. I mean, I'm sure that there's a lot of more stuff that uh, I still have yet to do. Like, I've only found one floating island, and they say on average just two or three per world. Um, I haven't fought the go goblin army yet, or I guess I also haven't beaten the, uh, the giant worm, so I can do that later too in an episode and finally show you guys how it's done. Um, I found the dungeon entrance, and it's way in this direction, like towards the very end of the world. Um, how you go in there is, well, I mean, first you have to talk to the old guy standing outside, and then he turns into a boss. And you fight him, and then once you kill the boss, you can go into the dungeon. Um, I, that'll be the last thing I do, just because, I mean, I want to make sure I'm really, really well equipped and ready before I go into there. So, yeah. Um, the next video will probably, probably
probably be me killing a boss or the goblin army or anything like that, so stay tuned, YouTube.